Hey everyone. Uh, okay, I'm kind of super excited to do this interesting <laughs> video. It's not entirely a supplement or workout or something like that thing. It's a bit different. So, you can see here's the package I'm gonna do some unboxing of. And if you've seen the, um, obviously you've seen the description or the header of the video, it says Arduino, right? So here's what I did. I I'll keep on opening this while I talk. I ordered this kit for Arduino Mega Board. In case you are not aware of it, then it's uh, an open source microcontroller board. Here's the stuff. I got it from Amazon. Yep. So it's a, a microcontroller board. Previously I've worked on Raspberry Pi that's a microprocessor board and this one is more like if I want to move things and all for that and I'm kind of beginner into this so this is uh, it is not actually an actual Arduino it's uh, it's a clone because you can make a clone because that's the open source board right so it's um, sold on Amazon by Quad Store and the board's name is Quaduino I guess and it's uh, the kit. It's kit means it comes with things like so. It's a super mega two five six zero kit. So it's based on the two five six zero chipset. And uh, yeah, nice box by the way. Uh, okay, I got it in Prime in just a day. I'm very excited to use it. Amazon never fails in packaging, you know, mostly products that are Amazon fulfilled. So here's the thing. A lot of stuff's come with it and uh, this thing cost me somewhere around 2600 I guess. So yeah, let's open it up. All right, what do we got here? We got this thing, this pamphlet sort of thing with some hologram in here. Quad store. Comes with a bunch of stuffs in it. Okay, I'll keep it aside. And then we got the Project CD, I believe. Yeah, so here's the thing. It's got a guide and then uh, project source code. That'd be cool. And here are the stops, okay? These are all the things that they're giving. So here's the actual board. And then you got an expansion of it, the shield. And then you got a remote for, to test out your IR related stops. We got a bunch of sensors as given here like the vibration sensor, flame sensor, photoresistor and a lot of stuff. And we got a, a stepper motor, we got a servo motor and we got a bunch of display devices. So here's a full blown LED, then you got segmented LED then single seven segment and a three bunch of four uh, seven segments. We got some push buttons, nine volt charger, jumpers, uh, jumpers here and this is the USB connector and well for anyone doing anything on electronics you need a breadboard here's the breadboard I don't know if it's very bright yeah here's the breadboard it's a big one and in case you want to have a secondary one here's the small one small breadboard here okay so that many stops this is kind of telling what all you need uh, they're saying what are their best-selling product it's more like an advertisement pamphlet I guess uh, leaving the mark and stuff like that. Okay. Again, a uh, printout of what all stuffs they're giving, right? I'll read it out later, but uh, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, this thing is pretty cool. I'm glad they've given it. This is uh, color coding, and you know, to read how much. Uh, um, uh, how many ohms are there in a register? You can you can read it uh, through this. Uh, resistance you can read it through the color coding and they kind of explained it so that it comes handy wow so cool let's see let's just do some zooming in here right that would be cool all right i guess yeah it's clear right so here's the actual thing right this is the arduino mega board right this is not actual arduino i told you already let me open it up and show it to you all right let me open it. Awesome. So, let's see. Yeah. Here's the actual IC. 
and we got a bunch of input and output connectors here pins okay and then here's the USB as well as the power from a laptop that might go in and if you want to run it standalone with a 9 volt to 15 volt um, variable power supply generally it supplies and there's a regulator on board it supplies about 5 volts and the pin 13 which you know in case you're doing the uh, Arduino thing uh, pin 13 is an onboard LED to do quick tests and stuffs and then you have your RXTX um, lights as well I guess um, yeah I mean why I took the mega board and not the Uno board you could ask right so some descriptions here although they have written it's you know Arduino mega see they've written Arduino mega they shouldn't have written that that's uh, they're selling it as code you know because that's what it is and even this thing is fake I can tell this made in Italy this thing is showing that that's fake for sure it's not made in Italy it's India but uh, obviously that doesn't mean it's bad it's uh, it feels premium in hand um, yeah I'm excited so let's keep it aside uh, yeah why I took a mega and not an uno primarily because of the memory the flash memory that I get so I can write a bit more code like this one has 256 KB and the Uno has 32 KB I guess so I guess this is the servo circuit right this is the servo driver that's what it is alright I'm not gonna open the rest of these uh, we'll use them but I'm, I'm gonna show you in the packet so I can give a like thumbs up to the way they have packed it I mean nice way of packing a kit you know okay here you uh, see these are all the uh, segmented displays for you to show certain things you can make a nice pattern in this one right so that's there you got a bunch of LEDs different colors okay this is the sensors box right this is the vibration sensor flame sensor and photoresistor stuff like those then all right this is a potentiometer if I'm not wrong yeah and then you got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of push buttons and caps and I don't know what is this okay buzzers are also there in case you want to make some sound something like that so active and passive buzzers are there and a uh, bunch of resistors I uh, see how different I think they've given 1k 10k and send some 10 ohms 100 ohms something like that they've given a bunch of resistors they've given what else we got okay that's the first layer that's interesting okay we got another IC here I'll see what that is okay bunch of parallel wires in case I want to do something with that like bus like wires uh, this one goes to my laptop oops laptop and then uh, to the Arduino actually here's the remote to test things out is the servo motor with some of the header things that to try out things like propeller sort of things that move into certain degrees this is a nice box they've given a box you can keep your stuff in here cool all right what else we got okay this is the shield so here's the shield underneath that's like an expansion short thing you can expand the whole board mm -hmm. and i think this is the small breadboard yeah okay these are jumper wires and why would you need these you need these to make your connections make your circuit on this breadboard this is the big one this is the actual breadboard the big one here you put these wires put you I mean just explain in a very simple way you, you might have done that in your college right uh, put it in and then put it in the other circuit so you make your prototype you need a breadboard and jumper wires that's what what else is going on okay I think these are the extensions like you have those slots where you put the pins on and you can just put these things as well just in case you know you, so you can add this and then put the shield on something like that here's uh, if I'm not wrong this is your 9 volt battery container and then this this thing goes in the Arduino as a power source and here's a stepper if here's a stepper motor in case you're not aware it's just steps to different variations if you, you can have fractions of um, degrees that you want and so that's a little bunch of levers going on in here I have no clue what these are plastic anyway 
What do we have here? Okay. Oh, all right, that's cool. And this is the big LED display. See, if I want to show something or write something on it, that uh, something, you know, turning fan on, temperature across the limit, something like that. That's, that's for this one. Overall, I'm, I'm so happy to get this. This is beautiful, you know. So many things they've given for me to start up with. And uh, I'm going to do my pet projects with it. So, super excited. And if you want to buy this thing or something similar, go get it. I, I generally buy from Amazon because I've, da -da, I've become a prime customer as well. So, anyway, not advertising Amazon for that anymore. Now, moving on, here's my pre-workout from Amazon also, yeah, focus. So this one is from a company called Medicis, Medicis here, it's an Indian company. Um, whatever flavor they say, fruit punch, doesn't really matter, it's kind of orangey. Mm. Interesting thing about this pre-workout is this, see they have high dosed stuff, alright? This thing cost me somewhere around 1400 bucks, one of the cheapest I could ever get. And look at the dosage, I mean it's got creatine, it's got beta alanine 3.4 grams, that's, that's humongously high. I mean proper dose is around 3 to 4 grams, so they've given pretty proper. You know? And citrulline malle also 2.5 grams, it's good. Why I took it? It's caffeine free. Right? Then you say how to get the stimulant thing. So betaine acts as stimulant, not as powerful as caffeine, but then it's something that causes IGF-1 to trigger. So that's kind of cool. Now the interesting thing about this is, see, in case it's focusing properly, it says this thing has 19 serving, 20, 21 grams per scoop and 19 serving. So I can assure you it's got more than that. Let me show you. So this this guy's messed up actually. So here's the scoop. Here's the freaking scoop. And here's how much stuff there is. A bunch a lot of stuff in there. Mm, so what I did, I put it on paper, clean, and then measured it. If you're buying this product, this one scoop ain't gonna give you 21 grams, and it's not 19 serving in that case. You know, one one scoop is gonna give you much more, much more than 19 serving. If you wanna have this dosage of 21 gram you need somewhere between 2.5 to 3 scoops of that thing and then you'll get it. How it feels? Well, you don't get any buzz, you don't get any um, jitter, uh, nothing like that, you know, because there's no caffeine in it, but yeah, you get a lot of push, you can, you can do your workout for longer and uh, I like this product, 1500 bucks, 1400 bucks and it's an Indian product no import duty, nothing. I'd recommend if you go, if you are someone, you know, who over the time, just like everyone, gets a caffeine tolerant, then you can keep one caffeine pre-workout and keep one which is not caffeine pre-workout. So this is caffeine free, right? I, I, I can recommend it, it's good. I mean, obviously I can't recommend it to go and buy it because pre-workouts work on different people in different way. Probably it will not do anything to you. So that's cool. Um, just telling you how I feel. Uh, that's that's pretty much of it. I hope you like my video because this is kind of interesting, right? <laughs> Electronics plus pre-workout. <laughs> but I hope you liked it. And in case you liked it, just um, click the like button and also subscribe button. That would be great. All right. Until next time, have a great time. Bye.